What's the story, amigos? This is Kino with some cool stories for today's story time. Today, Kino and Mike need to choose what they would rather do. Would you rather be covered in jam or soaked with water or pulled through the mud by a dog? Then, it's raining pigs when Kathleen Quinlan reads us a story full of pigs. Pigs aplenty. Pigs galore. And our last story is about a very special dog named Boodle. Isn't Boodle beautiful? As she sits on the rock watching the other dogs fetch sticks. Major funding for Storytime is made possible by a grant from Helen and Peter Bing so that families everywhere can share the joy of reading with their children. Additional funding is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the annual financial support from viewers like you. you do. You'll never make it to home base because I'm gonna find you. <laughs> no, not there. Not there. There you are. Whoa. <laughs> home base. Home base. <laughs> oh, you win. <laughs> Okay. Well, what should we do now? It's still raining. How about more hide and seek? I've run out of places to hide. What else can we do? How about a game of dominoes? Uh, we already did that, too. Want to play cards? No, not really. Hey, we can make a bigger tent. Mm, I don't know. Whoa, I do. How about a game of soccer, one-on-one? -on -one? Yeah! No, wait okay. a minute. No, no, no guys. Uh-uh, no soccer in here. That's for outside when it stops raining. Aww. 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 <laughs> well, then what are we gonna do? Hmm, well, let's see. Would you rather do something loud or soft? Soft. Loud. Hmm. Would you rather do something serious or silly? Um, serious. Silly. Oh, <laughs> well, since you can't seem to agree, would you rather I read you a funny book about what you'd rather do? Or shall I read you a funny book about what you'd rather do? Uh, <laughs> read the funny book. <laughs> read the funny book. <laughs> all right. Well, I'm glad we all agree. It's called Would You Rather? And it's by John Burningham. Would you rather your house was surrounded by water, snow, or jungle? Mike? Mm. Hmm. Snow is fun. Oh, yeah. Let's see. I think, I think jungle. Ooh. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. <laughs> Would you rather an elephant drank your bath water, an eagle stole your dinner, a pig tried on your clothes, or a hippo? 
Oh, slept in your bed. <laughs> Kino. Uh, uh, brother, that's a hard one. Uh, I think I'd rather have a hippo sleep in my bed. Oh, <laughs> very interesting. How about you, Mike? Pig chair on my clothes. Oh, you like that, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather be covered in jam or soaked with water or pulled through the mud by a dog? <laughs> Mike. Don't mm, dumb water. Oh, yeah. Yeah, me too. That's an easy one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't end up dirty, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Would you rather have supper in a castle, breakfast in a balloon, or tea on the river? What well, looks good? Tea on the river. Breakfast in a balloon. Ooh. Exciting, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Would you rather be made to eat spider stew, Ugh, yeah. slug dumplings, Ugh. mashed worms, <laughs> or drink snail squash? Ugh. Now that's a hard one. <laughs> <laughs> Which would you rather? Uh, oh, uh, none for me, thanks. Oh, me neither. <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, I'm not hungry. <laughs> would you rather jump in the brambles for 25 cents, swallow a dead frog for 50 cents, <sighs> stay all night in a creepy house for a dollar? Hmm. Mm. Creepy house is nice. Yeah. I'll tell you what, Mike, we'll do it together. Yeah. 50-50 split. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Great idea. <laughs> Would you rather be crushed by a snake, swallowed by a fish, eaten by a crocodile, or sat on by a rhinoceros? Oh, brother. I like the really snake. Tough. It's kind of like a big hug, yeah. huh? <laughs> yeah, I think Mike's right. The snake. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Would it be worse if your dad danced at school? Or your mom made a fuss in a cafe? Both of those things would be kind of embarrassing. Yeah, they huh? both sound bad. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> would you rather clash the cymbals? Bang the drum or blow the trumpet. You first, Mike. Yeah. I like the drum. Oh, you're a noisy guy, huh? Mm -hmm. Oh. You clash the cymbals. Oh, another noisy guy. Bum, 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 bum. <laughs> <laughs> Would you rather know a monkey you could tickle? <laughs> a bear you could read to? A cat you could box with. A dog you could skate with. A pig you could ride. Or a goat you could dance with. What sounds good, Mike? A pig I could ride on. Yeah, that looks like fun, mm -hmm. huh? How about you, Kino? I think a bear I could read to, because I love stories. Yes, you do. Would you rather be chased by a crab or a bull or a lion or by wolves? Oh, oh, oh! oh. 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 Which sounds better, <laughs> Kino? Uh, let's see. What was the first one? A crab. Well, yeah, I think I'd rather be chased crab. by a crab. Because <laughs> I can outrun a crab. That's right. I think yeah. you're all... Both of you are bigger than a crab, huh? Yeah, and yeah. faster. Buddy. And faster. Yeah, I think a crab would be more scared to be chased by me. Yeah. Probably, yeah. Probably. <laughs> or would you like to ride a bull in a supermarket? That's fun. Ooh, that so, sounds huh? good. Ooh, look yeah. at all the people. Yeah, I'd like scared. that, I think. Mamma mia! No! <laughs> like, mia! Would you rather be lost in a fog or at sea? In a desert, in a forest, or in a crowd? Yes? In a crowd. Think so? Yeah, yeah. Why? Mm, 
It's better than all these places, because this, you won't be able to see anything. Yeah. This, you'll be hot, yeah. thirsty. This one, uh, that one's just boring. <laughs> <laughs> this one, you can be eaten by anything. Oh, yes. Yeah, I think I agree. Would you rather help a fairy turn a frog into a prince? Gnomes look for treasure. An imp be naughty. A witch make a stew. Or Santa Claus deliver presents. Yeah. <gasps> what would you rather do? Help Santa Claus. Yeah. How about you, Pino? Yeah. Have to help Santa. Yeah. Would you rather live with a gerbil in a cage, a fish in a bowl, a parrot on a perch, a rabbit in a hutch, chickens in a coop, or a dog in a kennel? Kino, what do you think? Uh, I like dogs. I guess I'd rather live with a dog in a kennel. Yeah, me too. You I like so? dogs. <laughs> Or perhaps you would rather just go to sleep in your own bed. Go to sleep? Oh, not now. <laughs> not now. Oh, oh hi, hi Kathleen. Hi, hi Haley. Hey, how you doing? Hi, Lucy. Hi, Mike. Hi, Kino. Hi. We don't want to go to bed yet. Oh, I'll bet you'd rather be warm and dry, too, <laughs> and not cold and wet. Oh, that's <laughs> right. It's raining cats and dogs oh, outside. Yep, yep. It's raining cows and sheep. <laughs> oh. It's raining ducks and chickens. Oh. It's <laughs> raining bugs and snails. <laughs> Tiger the lion. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, it looks like it's been raining toys in here. Oh. <laughs> trying to stay busy on a rainy day, and I'm afraid we made a mess. <laughs> well, I have a story here about a much bigger mess that piled up on a day when it seemed to be raining pigs. Oh. <laughs> Would you like to hear it, Haley? Yeah. Oh, yeah, oh, sure. Let's hear it. Yeah. Okay. It's called Pigs Aplenty, Pigs Galore. And it's by David McPhail. And you can't read it unless you sit really, really close. Okay. Okay. You ready? Munch, munch, munch. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Burp, burp, burp. <laughs> Late one night, as I sat reading, I thought I heard the sound of feeding. Through the kitchen door I crept, barely watching where I stepped. A crash, a bang, a shout, a yell, I slipped on something, then I fell! <laughs> <laughs> I landed on a pile of pigs, some eating dates, some eating figs, <laughs> in the cupboards, on the floor. Pigs aplenty. Pigs galore. What? Black pigs, white pigs, brown and, and pink pigs making oatmeal in the sink pigs. <laughs> <laughs> pigs in tutus. Pigs in kilts. Pigs on skateboards. Pigs on stilts. Pigs from England. Pigs from France. Pigs in just their underpants. <laughs> <laughs> the king of pigs. The piggy queen. The biggest pigs I've ever seen. Pigs arrive by boat, by plane. A bus pulls up and then a train. A band strikes up, a piggy sings. <laughs> then at 10, the doorbell rings. Someone yells, the pizza's here. And all the pigs begin to cheer. 
flying pizzas fill the air, one goes splat against my chair. The piggy piggies eat their fill. I get nothing, just the bill. <laughs> <laughs> I've had enough. I scream and shout. Get out, you pigs, you pigs! Get out! Please let us stay, the piggies cry. Don't make us go. Don't say goodbye. You can stay, I tell them all. But sweep the floor and scrub the wall. <laughs> I give them brooms, a pail, a mop. Now sweep and scrub till I say stop. The piggies work, and when they're done, upstairs they stagger one by one. They brush their teeth and comb their tails. They wash their snouts and clean their nails. The pigs and I climb into bed. I plump the pillows and plop my head. <laughs> I close my eyes and try to sleep. Before too long, I'm dreaming deep of pigs and pigs and pigs some more, of pigs a plenty, pigs galore. <laughs> I have a question. Haley, do you think that he was dreaming about all those pigs? What do you think's going on in the very end? I think he's dreaming. You think he's dreaming? Yeah. It's too bad we don't have a lot of pigs to help clean up this mess here, isn't it? <gasps> yeah. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like cleaning up this mess at all. Me neither. Me neither. <laughs> Tell you what, let's do it after another story. And I've got just the perfect one for a bunch of lazy bones like us. Oh, oh wow. <laughs> Check out the cover. It really is raining dogs around here. <laughs> I love this book. Now, Mike, do you think this dog likes the rain? I don't know. Maybe not. Should we find out? Yeah, 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 yeah let's read it. it. Okay, go ahead. This is a book by Pia Lindenbaum called Boodle, My Dog. This is Boodle, my dog. She's sleeping in her favorite chair. My dad used to think it was his chair, but he knows better now. Boodle is Bull Terrier. She's the best dog in the whole world. Her brilliant mind is always at work. Her guard is never down. <laughs> Bull Terriers are very fierce, strong, and brave. I bet a burglar would take one look at her and run for his life. It's my job to walk Boodle after school. It takes us a long time to get down the steps, my dad says that's because Boodle's a little nutty, but I say it's because she has to make sure there's no trouble down waiting for us at the bottom of the stairs. That's the watchdog in her. <laughs> Come on, Boodle. Boodle always seems to want to go in a different direction than I do. I let her decide because sometimes a dog knows best. It takes longer her way, I have to admit, but we always end up at the park just the same. This way, Boodle. In the park, other dogs chase balls, but not Boodle. She'd rather look at bugs and leaves. I wonder what she thinks about them. Isn't Boodle beautiful? as she sits on the rock watching the other dogs fetch sticks. Nobody decide when she's going to play. She looks like a royal statue. Her paws are small and strong, and she has such pert ears. 
and the fur on the tip of her nose is very short and soft. I'm so proud of her. Sometimes Boodle wanders off to explore by herself. Last week, it took me two hours to find her in the tall grass. Nothing can stop her when she's on a scent trail. Baby of a burglar. Whoa. <laughs> when Boodle waits outside the grocery store, she likes to watch people and dogs passing her by. Other dogs seem to want to play with her. But she isn't interested. They're not her style. Little dogs bore her. But big dogs she loves. Sometimes I can't figure Boodle out. We don't like getting caught in the rain. Boodle is suspicious of puddles. And she's not fond of wet paws. It won't hurt you, Boodle. <laughs> She'd rather avoid them if she can. You'd think Boodle would be glad to get back home where it's dry. But when I call her upstairs to towel her off, something outside usually catches her eye. I yell and yell, but she won't budge. She has nerves of steel. Boodle! Boodle won't just eat any time. She eats when she chooses. I always remind Mom to get Boodle's favorite foods, but sometimes she forgets. Usually, I can get her to eat anyway. Boodle has never really gotten used to the vacuum cleaner. It probably looks like a dangerous enemy to her. I bet only Boodle's amazing super dog self-control keeps her from ripping the vacuum to pieces. <laughs> <laughs> Every night, I know what's coming. Nighttime is when Boodle gets frisky. I always rush through my bath so I don't miss the action. She's so cute when she wants to play. Mom asks why Boodle can't play outside during the day. I think maybe Boodle is just a night person. Some dogs are. My little brother hasn't learned to get out of Boodle's way yet. You'd think he would catch on after a while. I don't know why Mom gets so upset he falls down all the time anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Like an amazing white cannonball, Boodle leaps across the room. What a dog! I'm always impressed when she clears the coffee table. <laughs> Sometimes, Boodle performs a happy little dance on the sofa. I yell for Dad to get the video camera, but he ignores me. Then the neighbor downstairs complains about the thumping noises. Boodle and I are surrounded by party poopers. Finally, Boodle has had enough. We're both ready for bedtime. Tonight, Boodle needs an extra little push to get up into her chair. I feel happy when I see Boodle worm her way beneath her blankie. I give her a last little pat. I tell her good night. I'll sleep soundly tonight knowing that Boodle is keeping me safe. We am. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was a great story, Kathleen. Do you think the pictures match the words? Let's look. Her guard is never down. <laughs> yeah, boy, what a watchdog, huh? No. <laughs> no. She's like, somebody scratched my tummy. I don't think she's going to attack the vacuum cleaner, either. Oh, <laughs> yes. No. Haley, why do you think she would be afraid of the vacuum cleaner? The noise. Oh. Yeah, my brother's scared of it. Oh, really? Vacuum cleaners? Yeah. I'm yeah. taking care of a turtle, and, he, and he's scared of loud noises. Really? Oh. Well, boy, I don't feel as lazy now. Me neither. Me neither. Yeah, maybe we're like Boodle. 
ready to move at the end of the day. <laughs> so, shall we? Okay, <laughs> let's do it. Kino? Yeah? Can I help? Oh, no, you don't have to. <laughs> we put it there, we pick it up. <laughs> so hard, was it? <laughs> and we just got time for two story picks for a rainy day. My story pick is June 29, 1999. And in this story, it's raining vegetables. It's sort of an invasion of the vegetables. <laughs> <Whoa>. <laughs> and mine is perfect for today. It's called Mudagush, and it's all about playing in the rain. Well, that's our story time. Thank you, Kathleen and Thanks. Haley, and you too, Mike, for coming to visit us on a wet and soggy day. And I hope we've helped you feel sunny wherever you are. Yeah. Oh, and don't forget, everybody. Keep, keep a story in your heart. Bye-bye. And stay dry. <laughs> that was a very short poem. Bye-bye. Storytime books are Would You Rather by John Burningham, Pigs of Plenty, Pigs Galore by David McPhail, Boodle My Dog by Pia Lindenbaum, Mudagush by Kimberly Knudsen, and June 29, 1999 by David Wiesner. You can find these and other books at your local library. Major funding for Storytime is made possible by a grant from Helen and Peter Bing so that families everywhere can share the joy of reading with their children. Additional funding is provided by the Corporation for Public Broadcasting and by the annual financial support from viewers like you. Storytime is a production of KCET Los Angeles.